Okay, this is Val Van again, your ED301 instructor. I'm going to use this recording and video to show you how to log into Blackboard Collaborate Virtual Sessions if you're going to use your phone or a tablet, iPad, um, iPhone, any kind of Samsung or Dell. These are just for the smartphones and tablets. Okay, the very first thing you have to do is download the Blackboard Collaborate app and make sure that you choose this app, not the one that just says Blackboard. That's a t totally different thing. The app is free and it will now be on your phone or tablet and um, you can always see where it is by this indicator here where I've got the purple arrow. That means Blackboard Collaborate app and it's it doesn't take but a minute to download it so it won't be a problem at all. The first thing you're going to have to do is accept the participant agreement like in all things we do in the internet and once you've downloaded this is what you're going to see if you click on the Blackboard Collaborate icon and as it says it's welcome Blackboard Collaborate and it that just means that it is there and it is loaded on your smartphone or your tablet. Now the next few steps I'm going to tell you how to log into the virtual session after you have downloaded your app. You have to go to Athens State University's website and that you'll get very familiar with this www.athens.edu. Once you are in the website log into your ED301 Blackboard class look at announcements and when you click on your class it's going to be the first thing that pops up in 3ED301 Blackboard. But look at the announcements, look for the specific announcement that says virtual session. It'll tell you the dates and the time. And then you're going to actually click on the link at the end of that particular announcement. I've done a screenshot of it so you will see what it looks like. The top part tells students how to log in from their laptop or desktop computer and I did a um, video recording for that also and then the bottom part tells uh, students how to log into um, the virtual classroom from their iPhone, Android, iPad or tablet. So you're going to actually click on that link at the bottom. It's going to come up this. This form is not secure. Are you sure you want to submit it? Click on cancel. Very important. Just click on cancel. Don't click on um, the submit because it just gets all squirrely then. So just click on cancel and you will see this screen and the next step is you click on join room. The red button and it takes it just a minute if that and it will download the virtual session on your phone or tablet you are going to be asked do you want to open in Collaborate and you're going to say open. Those of you that are using phones it's a little bit harder to mute your mic and so I would recommend saying don't allow. Most of you are going to type in the chat box anyway so I would say don't allow. On a tablet it's a little easier to mute the mic part but um, if you're comfortable typing in the chat box and you're probably not going to use the mic anyway I'd recommend just selecting don't allow. Now this is what the virtual session classroom looks like. Of course it's teeny tiny on your phone and a little bit bigger on the tablet and much bigger on a laptop and a desktop computer. So uh, the size of your technology indicates the size of your room. But I want to point out that this is totally different than if you're using a laptop or a uh, computer. It looks totally different. It has the same functions, maybe not all of them, but has the ones you need to be successful in a virtual session classroom. I want to point out a couple to you. Um, the one at the top that has the three lines, that's a menu item and we're going to show you in a minute what that does. This little group of people, that's going to get you somewhere else. This white space in the middle is where you'll see my PowerPoint. You will not see me, I don't see you, but I put my PowerPoint slides in um, in the virtual sessions and that's what you see on a tablet or phone. 
down at the bottom this is the chat box way down here and this little area in here um, I will have you say that you're in the classroom and yes or no so you'll be clicking on that some people just type in yes or they type in no down at the bottom but that w that's hard to make sense until you actually see what I'm doing in the virtual session so don't really worry too much about this down here this is this area in the bottom that's a little happy face if you want to do an emoji and this right here is a check yes or no so those are the components of the main classroom of course you're going to be looking at the uh, PowerPoint in the middle okay let's say you want to know who is in the class with you uh, there are six sections of ED 301 some of them may be in your particular section but they may be in other sections too but all you have to do to see who has actually joined the class is click on like the purple arrow is pointing to the little group of people and it will right now it just says me but it'll list everybody that is in the class by name so you'll be able to maybe spot some of your friends or friends you didn't even know that were in ED 301 but uh, that list will be there this next slide indicates that little menu with the three white bars that I pointed out a couple slides ago and when you click on that you are going to see the left side of the screen don't click on the settings don't click on that it, it bounces you out of blackboard then you're gonna to have to go, get back in and just just ignore it but let's say we're all done and you're ready to go or you have to leave early or whatever the case may be when you click on the little menu item here with the three bars then you click on leave you click on the leave and you're going to get a do you really want to leave the session and if you don't click on cancel sort of you know not not uh, rocket science here or click on OK and that is all you have to do to join a virtual session through a smartphone or a tablet. So I will be talking to you later.